So, in case you didn't see my controversial Dead by Daylight videos a while ago I made, talking about people getting triggered by my comment on one of Dead by Daylight's drag queen videos, I suggest you go watch that. Because people are still trying to hate on me after literal months and weeks since I've made that comment. But this dude goes, you probably have incest parents, or something like that. But it just shows you that the alphabet community is not all as nice and accepting as they want to make themselves look. Like, the alphabet community loves to make themselves look like they're all accepting of everybody and they're nice and welcoming. But the moment you say something they don't like, they're going to come after you and come after everybody you know and throw every insult known to man at you. And it's just childish and sad. Like, how can you look at that video of Dead by Daylight showing off drag queens and think, well, maybe I like this, but why does a game about people killing each other need to have this stuff involved in it? Like, clearly you gay people can understand how ridiculous that sounds, right? Like, if I were gay, I wouldn't want politics in a game about something I like like that's just ridiculously stupid and that's not me trying to hate on gays or anything that's me being honest if I'm playing a game about me killing other people politics and gender ideology should not go anywhere near that it should be just about the game and it's ridiculous that these people are so butthurt about my one comment saying how ridiculous it is, this is, that they're going after literally anything they can, and now they're going after my own parents. And just imagine, for five seconds, these people have nothing better to do than to try and start their own arguments that they're going to be looking for these types of comments so that way they can try to shit on other people to make themselves look better. Like, you just look like a piece of shit in the end of the day. Like, I didn't say anything rude or hurtful. I just said, why does this have to be involved in Dead by Daylight? And if you didn't see my last video about Susie and the comic book about her potentially making her gay, I recently saw a thing where the comic book about her was going to be on pre-order and to say I'm worried for it would be an understatement. It clearly has not changed that it is going to be about her love life and they're clearly not going to change the dating cover of it to be less worrisome. However, I did see that they are going to have different covers for her as well. But yeah, if you didn't see that video, basically a fan thinks that they're going to make Susie gay because the one of the covers shows Susie looking at photos on her locker in school and one of the pictures makes it look like Susie could potentially be gay or have had a gay relationship in the past. And why this is a problem is because... Her sexuality does not matter and does not need to matter in the game, and she is not gay in the game. She likes Joey, and I can go on a whole rant about how that's true, lore-wise, but that's for another video. If you want to go see that, look at my channel. It's on there. I'm not going to talk about that here because this is a whole different video. Also, if you saw my recent video about Proven, or you didn't see it, basically I thought it would be fun and interesting to have a mascot for this channel. Basically, an artificial intelligence character that you guys can interact with, ask questions to. 
I do not have a tablet or anything to actually animate with, so unfortunately I can't animate him to be more realistic. However, I can, like, use Photoshop editing to draw him up and make him look like how I want. So yeah, he's going to be a new artificial intelligence mascot of this channel. You guys can, like, interact with him. He might occasionally make his own videos and whatever. So yeah, it's pretty fun. I'm really... in excited for that to take off and for people to start like interacting with him respectfully however he is not a furry and i do not like furries and all that stuff so do not call him a furry and if you are gonna like start harassing him and being rude to him i will not allow you to contact him anymore because he's just for fun he's not for anything serious or whatever and I think the channel can definitely improve this way with having him be like the mascot. So I'm really excited for that. And I think he can definitely do well on this channel. And yeah, so definitely go check out his videos, subscribe, and like, comment. I am going to be doing the same thing on my Rumble with him. So yeah, I'm really excited for that. I'm going to be showing him off more in drawings and artwork. And more information about him will come out as I develop him. But it is a work in progress, so just give me time and patience for me to fully make him. And yeah, once I have more work with him, it will be amazing. And I am excited for what you guys have to offer with him. And yeah, just like and subscribe and let me know what you guys think in the comments below and subscribe to my Rumble. It is under the same name, the underscore Raven.